What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Razor package with Brain Freeze. I've actually had success with this last time. I think we did it with you, Giganticus. Um, today we are doing it with Brain Freeze, and the reason we're calling it Razor Package is because I feel like <clears throat> there's a certain group of cards that makes Tomb Razor Zombie good. Now, if this hits phase one time, it's insane value. Gravesons are expensive in this game too. There are so many four, five, six, just battle cruiser, seven costs, you know, gargantuars are gravestones. There's a lot of those. So you're going to get a really, really heavy hitting card. And this is still on the field. It doesn't go away once it hits. Uh, so you're definitely even be able to activate that again. So the cards that go well with it are cards that um, are big threats on the field. So when you play this on turn four, <clears throat> they're really not going to be able to afford to front it because they're going to have to deal with the other cards. It's also cards that they really don't want to hit face. One of the weaknesses of Tomb Raider Zombie is turn four is like usually the turn that you block. You know, if the block meter, if this hits a block meter, it does not make the gravestone. So that's a really huge problem. Uh, so the cards that we're typically running in what we call Razor Package is space time. Uh, because again, if they front this, which they really want to, um, then it's good, it's good stack card and, you know, uh, it's going to basically be stalling for your Tomb Raider, not pro not charging the block meter. Same thing is going to go with the Raptor. They really need to take care of this. Uh, you know, usually on turn three, they can't even deal with this. So on turn four, they're going to front this because it's going to be a really big card that conjures. Uh, it's going to activate. It's going to make sure your Tomb Raider zombie is going to be empty when you play it. Uh, that they're not going to go after this. Usually, anyway, they think your turn four gravestone is a pogo, which they're not always necessarily going to be able to afford uh, to front with a minion that turn. It's only a really big threat, you know, that you have to front Pogo if, we, if the opponent has Mixed of Gravedigger, which we're not even running in this deck. Um, I find that a good follow-up to a lot of things is going to be the Crow Yeti. This is a big card, makes very free trades, very good um, to protect your Tomb Raider and protect your, you know, your Raiding Raptor ends up having a lot of attack. You can make a good trade. Uh, the other really important card that you run in what we call Razor Package is usually we run Laser Base Alpha, which gives a minion strike through. I'm going to be... Opting for Area 22, since it is the Brain Freeze, we have the Beastly Environment. I think overall, this is better. It, it, things don't hit face as often with this, but they do... I mean, maybe Laser is better. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. I was also thinking of running... You know what? I'm going to make this, this change right now. I was thinking of running even six environments. I feel like once we're running Smoke Bomb. But really, hitting face is so important. You don't necessarily need more damage. You need a hit face. Even your Cheese Cutter hits face. They have to front this card. If not, if this hits face one time, it's insane. Space time, everything. I guess we'll go two and two. Someone suggested that. I was even going to run six environments in this deck, which I still might do. Instead of running Smoke Bombs in order to activate your cards. Uh, kind of a clean way. Much cheaper way. Of getting the value, you know, of, of one of your cards hitting face. I think the cowboy is also going to be good in this deck because again, everything they really need to block your cheese cutter, block your space time. You end up coming into turn four with an empty block meter. Play this in lane one, uh, and it just goes crazy. This will start doing so much damage. Can do like 15 damage on turn four, all in one turn. All right, so I'm gonna take the screenshot. I guess the point is, Area 22 is usually the better environment because it adds a lot of stats to your cards. But really, the value of this deck is not stats. It's your cards hitting your opponent's face. Even this, it just activates a Dino Roar and gives you an extra card in your hand. It's just so much value for almost everything in this deck hitting face. I think we're going to do the 2 and 2. And I might, again, make changes to this deck and add more environments. I was thinking, like... Uh, also, I was thinking to put um, Extinction Event, Cider Run Cyborg, since it does have synergy with both Space Time because of the Conjure, and the Conjure also procs the uh, Raiding Raptor. Also, very good, just general, very good control card on turn two. Uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on everything. Uh, let's get right into the game, though. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, and we are going to do normal bets today if you think this deck will go 8 and 2 or better. So, yes, yeah, 7 3 or Pua. Vote no, the voting starts right now. Let's get right into it. Uh, starting with two cheese cutters and area. I mean, it's one, two, three, essentially. Really, really good cheese cutter if he can't um, front it on one. You know, we'll definitely play the first one on heights. Got to play around that rumble. Second one, I guess we'll play on the ground. Very likely to get a card that's playable on turn two from Cheese Cutter Hang Face. There's a lot of really. Here's another superpower. Just there's a lot of really cheap um, 
cheap gourmet cards that are very high value even just getting a free nibble a free lunchbox okay so that it face i mean this is just so hard for any hero to deal with and coffee okay it's an expensive card so it doesn't give us the early game tempo but we don't need it we have <laughs> we got options we got options if he fronts us with anything the galvanize wins the trade even black ip we win the trade on that that's what i thought see you later so now we can come on with the Area 22 next turn. Heck yeah. Another environment. <laughs> it's just not fair. It's just free value. Probably go with Area 22. We'll see what happens. Huh? You never know. We can go Nibble Nibble Trapper. You're annoying. Nice environment, bro. Next time, keep it to yourself. We have so many. Well, take the four damage, though, why not? So this is another time it's hitting phase. Just the cheese cutters alone. We don't really... Okay, there's three cost thinking cap. la dee da Probably go for the thinking cap here. Yup. Unless he plays in our environment, then I'll just go with the area again. Thinking cap, and we'll have a choice of two superpowers. One of them should give the value. Drawing cards. So we have four backyard bounces instead of pogos and stuff. Ooh, we moving. He's moving here? Oh, nice. This is definitely an opportunity for Laser Base Alpha to be better than Area 22. Area 22 wouldn't have really done anything there. Laser Base Alpha kills this huge card and also gives us the OP. The OP dude. We have no guys. Okay, this is actually so freaking good. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna go with the ramp play here. So it's gonna be you. This guy anyway has frenzy, so I might as well put him in the laser. And we'll play you. So it gets more value. Putting a ton of heat on the field here. And we have Nibble. And Trapper if he comes in with another environment. If that's all he does this turn. Eh, that's fine. No point in nibbling that. No, he just gave us five extra damage. It does a frenzied attack. Oh, I wish that would have killed him. It didn't want to proc the block. Oh, that was such a terrible play. Get get wrecked. The game mechanics. It has strike through and frenzy, so it hits face twice. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, just 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 give the weak stuff out of you, man. A weak stuff out of you. <laughs> You know, the reason I was excited to do this deck with Brain Freeze. Uh, I'll probably put that in the fail count. The reason I was excited was because of Cheese Cutter. Cheese Cutter is the perfect one drop for this deck with all the ways of going phase. And again, that continued pressure that you're putting a thing every single turn. And now the next turn, they have to deal with the one before and you're just gaining tempo on them like that. The next card always hits phase. So Cheese Cutter space time is also really cool. Damn, that was crazy. Um, so that will be... Then he fronts. Coffee. With mine. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Grass Knuckles. Thank you, kind. Thank you, sir. All right. It, it's a curve. It's a curve. Should I just get rid of the Yeti and look for, you know, Yetis are nice anyway with Brain Freeze. Let's look for a space time. That's so good. With a superpower. That should be okay. I probably should have put this on the ground, because if one of them survives... Well, it's not bad. Do we front this with the cheese cutter? We could. On man. That's very cool. And we get... We get a free... Guys, he has no lanes anymore. He's done. He's done! He's done! Look at the play! Look at the play. He has no lanes. He has no lanes. The aggro wall knight has nowhere, has nothing to do this turn. He can spike weed sector. That would be the best play. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm still just conquering like crazy right now. Crazy right now. And it doesn't solve the actual general problem of this game for him, in which he just doesn't have lanes to hit me. Another card. Give me Trapper. Oh, okay. La dee da dee da. I'd love to be able to play Acid Rain here. We probably have to play Rafter though. A little sad. Man, I wish we had an environment. Well, the environment actually would be terrible. Well, zero plus environment. You know, the environment would be perfect. I think we just play Rafter and keep on protecting ourselves here. We'll get a decent Acid Rain later, probably. But she said that's okay. Uh, yeah. The discount. It's okay. Wow, so this, uh, rafter kind of gets wrecked here. We, another card. Oh, we're just conjuring eggs. That's just what we're doing here. So, egg in one in cowboy? It's gotta be right. We'll just keep the, keep our face alive. We don't have an environment though. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. He thick. He's a thick boy. Wow, this doesn't even die now. Jeez. Oh, okay, we got something with three attack, which is nice. Neutralize this. That's a block. She's got her still hitting face. He doesn't even care. I guess he does care. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are in trouble. Tomb Razor Acid Rain looks pretty good. Looks really good. Tomb Razor. Egg here. We really need to block the eight. God damn, he's running the grave bus. This guy's got answers. Love if we get three um three health guy here. Yes, good enough. So do we acid rain or do we nibble? Probably. This is rough, but still winnable. Really use an environment. He doesn't have heals here. Right. Smoke bombing this might be worth it. Or nibbling this. I'd love if he didn't grow the pepper yet. Yeah. More cards. Chungus is cool. What is this? He's running heal. This man's weird. All right. Taking the L. Uh, probably nibbled this one, right? Oh, I probably could have froze. Uh, I messed up. That the play was. I I I totally goofed. He doesn't heal. He doesn't heal if we nibble. Okay, I messed up, but yet he would have lived. Freezing this one was better. And then you nibble this. I just didn't want him to heal. I thought if he heals, then yet he doesn't win the trade, and then we have to deal with that next turn, but... Twas a mistake! Yeah, I don't know what's with the aggro here. So we can go with these two. It's a 6-6 six, six and a 4-4 four, four on the field. It's pretty good. It just seems really exploitable. But the most exploitable card really is this one. Well, I probably should have covered you though, right? Yeah, because then that dies and we get a 5-5. Five, five. I'm not playing this well <laughs> at all. Okay, we get another card though. He didn't have... Poor Sun in his hand, he didn't have another second card to play. That's really weird. 
really strange. Uh, we have space-time thinking cab, which is cool. I think getting the four-cost cyborg here is good. This one's gonna be hard to get value from regardless. Could get an environment. Coghan? No! What does he have? I don't know what he has, folks. More, oh my god, I was like, the more environments we get, the better. That is great, guys! What the heck just happened? What the... No, that is not okay. That is not okay! <laughs> just got crazy. <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. How did that happen? <laughs> we hit it again. <laughs> We got another thinking cap he's gonna block. I'm actually happy he's blocking. I want to play the next thinking cap. That was incredible. <laughs> There's a free teleport because of space time. Who knew this deck was just a conjure deck the whole time? <laughs> okay, he's stalling again. I actually feel bad for this guy. Legit. We need a leap. We need a leap. Okay. Come Less on, chop. <laughs> Come on, chop. <laughs> um. It's not very good. Come on, backyard bounce. What do we actually want to grave rob here? Nothing? I don't like doing it to the space time. I guess we'll do it to this. We don't really need... We need the card. We don't need the extra attack, probably. There's Yeti. It's really in. <clears throat> I'm just playing Yeti. He gets five damage and still have nine health. We're gonna be okay. And we have freeze. It's the all out Yeti deck. Setting up some big heal maneuvers. No, I don't think so. Uh, okay. Uh, Smoke Bomb is gonna win the game. Good old smoke bomb. You can also teleport and play this guy. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Huh? I don't know what his problem is. Who do you who do you guys want to win the game with? Why am I BMing right now? I don't know. <laughs> Just complete BM. Estoy BM! see it. Why? Why do I do this? I don't know. It's fun, I guess. Yes, it's fun. God damn. That, that game took a, a, a way too long for us to win. I mean, it's Wall Knight, so he plays a super. He's blocking. Healing. Honestly, if without the misplay of the other thing, it would have been okay. It just felt like we completely dominated that game. I think Chungus. Chungus is the consensus, anyway. This is rough to play on turn one. I wonder if I just get rid of it. This is a really sad card against Solar Flare. I mean, if he does, if he gets more Spore or Scorch, it's a 50 50 of being amazing. Weed Whack is even okay. It activates this. Maybe we'll just keep this. Screw it. Screw it. The other thing is Colonel Pult answers this, but still one for one, and Colonel Pult answers space time. So. That's fine, alright. Looks like it worked. Um, so he doesn't have supers. Now, it's either, it's gotta be Weed Whack. I think this goes here, because even if we get Scorch, we activate it with the area next turn. Please go on the ground. Yes. It's nice to ask right here. So he goes, what's Agro Solar Flare budget version? It's Fry Them Chop. Fry Them Chop. 
Gotta be Agatha Lickley. It's a cool environment. How do we do this, though? Huh. I mean, we probably just have to play defensively. Scorched Earth, it's one of Solar Flare's powers. I'm not tripping, am I? Pretty good. Uh, heck yeah. Another one. Oh wow. Janitois. Two cost Janitois. Tomb Razor looks good. She probably is Tomb Razor. Yeah, it, it's a, was weak against Bloomerang, because now we can't even block that lane. They can get some heat here, I think. Oh, no, no. Such value, though. I die for this. We gotta really start playing defensively now. I don't know. I don't even know if I that it could be that just wasn't right. Rubber ducky, yo. Jeez. I, this game doesn't feel comfortable. There's his scorch. Yeesh. We have six next turn, so we do use it. God damn! It's nice this is precise, but... This doesn't feel comfy against a strike through deck and only having eight. It's good, lucky it's a budget version. Imagine this was an Astrakado. We would be toast. Whew, this is nasty. Stuff nasty. Buttons. So. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know, man. Damn, this power flash. What did this even do, this area? I don't know. I'm probably not playing this right at all. This actually doesn't really get value in, in this matchup. We're almost dead. We really need another Yeti or back air bounce here. Super to face. Ugh. Now apple saucers win. What am I doing? Please. So four and three is the play. Now, strike through versus strike through zombies win. So if he doesn't have a strike through minion and he's relying on this. And one of these hit faces. Ooh, I don't think that was a good play, because now we block. That oh, was pretty. What? He has two berry blasts in his hand and he's BMing me. So Agrosolar Flare got us. I don't know. I, there should have been a way for us to, to get out of that. 
just don't have the greatest answers to um, these strike through minions. I mean, we have a, a priority and then backyard bounds, but it was just too much damage. I feel like I probably could have could have pulled that out. Um, you guys in the chat who are fighting, can you both please just calm down? Just stop, stop making personal attacks on each other. Thank you so much. Hmm. All right. Yes. I'll have to get a second cheese guy. BM means bed manners. It means you, uh. Means you're gonna win anyway, so you just do random goofy stuff before you win. I mean, the cowboy will probably be amazing, so. And then we have a smoke bomb the next turn. It's pretty damn good, actually. I guess we just bounce whatever. If he passes, I'll probably set up the laser here. I shouldn't have done that. I should have saved the nibble. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing my best PvZ here, guys. Because it, it dies for free the next turn. I don't know what he could possibly do. Unless he's going for exactly a leafy upgrade. It would have to be exactly Savage Spinach we played around, you know? Who knows? Gee, okay. Okay. The cowboy actually, actually gets it done now. Oh, this is fine. I can get back here bounced. Okay, you know, okay, his time to shine is gone. The cowboy doesn't do all the cowboy things, but he just spends a lot of cards on them. So we'll either go for the laser. Where does this go? Use another veggie mutation. It's probably just going to be laser at base. <laughs> Wish he had an environment, huh? We definitely need cards. Not Nine tails for us. Wait for the one we're doing the PV zero. That's a four cost uh, dude. I'll definitely take it. Is Yeti better? Yeti's probably better this turn. <laughs> Kelly, can you please stop spamming? Thank you very much. We can nibble this one. Yeah. 
another one. <laughs> Cosmic P. That's what I'm talking about. They see me growing. Bro. I guess it conjures up a card if we don't smoke bomb, so yeah, that's probably better. That's okay. That still trades. That still trades. Products are blocked, yeah? We still get the card. Ugh, it's not what we needed. This is scary. Scary. I think we use it. Another Yeti would be nice. Probably um, sm this into smoke bomb and then bounce something. Gotta yeah, just keep this covered up. Did I miss lethal? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm somewhere else today, guys. I completely miss lethal. I can just say it's BM, but it wasn't. I miss lethal big time. Big time. It's <sighs> guaranteed. Yeah, I was telling myself, I need to wake up earlier in the morning and get a lot of work done. You know, I didn't really sleep last night. I slept five and a half hours since but I'm so tired. God damn. Trapper's pretty good here. <laughs> Not bad at all. Can we just win? What did we get? I've already had three coffees today. I, I need I need to actual sleep. I know coffee is always the answer, but Monkey Smuggler, we needed that last turn. Of 
Grosham is underrated. It probably, probably right. Probably. Veggie mutation is also underrated. This guy is running veggie mutation in this deck. I can't, these games are going so freaking slow. This is turn ten. I don't like every game, man. The grave is a. Uh, uh, I forgot already. Monkeys. <laughs> That's literally him conceding. <laughs> That's his hands. Reincarnation. Reincarnation planned food. Why didn't he do this here? And then, for today, I went to help. Just guarantee. All right, we're th we three and one. I'm just gonna grab something. Razor is an elite deck? We could run a leap version of this. Why then? Cool. I'll take it. Please no click B. That is fine. Fine. Either one is good. I think we don't even smoke bomb here, right? Do we, though? Is killing Torchwood for free? Well, the smoke bomb will get value later. Save the card. Instead of thinking what's better this turn, what is better for the overall game? Holy crap. Pretty damn good. <laughs> There's so many threats on the field now. And also that that peapod, unless he has a second torchwood, doesn't really do anything to protect him here. Ooh, he's got some setup plays too. Let's go. Trap bar. This man is taking some heat with what he's doing. Jeez. Uh, smoke bomb will probably be the play here. Tra either trap or nibble. Oh, trap or nibble and smoke bomb actually. We need a leap. I'll take the. I love you more than I love my own father. Fry. Oh. Less than three. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Jeez, why am I so mean? Uh, thank you, Dama Baby. You're so sweet. Dama Baby is my my illegitimate child. I'm eating a pancake. God damn. Um, so it's gonna be Nibble. Trap bomb. And smoke bomb. That's a lot of damage. Bomby. Pretty good. He got three peas in from the pod file, though. Who has set up plays now? We're getting all ghosts. Happy Halloween, guys. It's getting super here. Raptor's ridiculous. Talk about underrated cards. Yeah. 
We just have to not get burst down here. Two and three? The cowboy looks good. If he has another one of these, the cowboy doesn't work, though. I don't know, man. The, the safest play is these two. It's also offensive if he doesn't have the super. Alright, we'll go with the safe play. He has one card besides for that now. I think the cowboy now is going to be guaranteed in one. What turn was this? Was it five? It was five. Okay. So now we'll do this one. So he has, um, oh, he wins! I can't believe that I throw that g I don't know, I could have done it live, well, if I would have done that then, I mean, top deck this, I guess. I can't believe it! We lose! How did we lose that game? We had that guy! Oh, man, I didn't play around that, I guess. What was I supposed to do, stall another turn? I mean, I was playing safe last turn. Yeah, I got the super. I can't believe it, guys. Come on, man. <sighs> Get wrecked. Jeez. We're three and two. We've been... This deck has been going for so long already. We're halfway through this room. This deck is performing so well, too. That's why that loss just hurts, bro. Come on, man. Got us, though. We actually... I was going to make a joke and say, Play your super. Try to get a 3-1. Do I let that hit my face? Oh, my gosh. Um, nah. Can't believe it. Come on. Why not go face for two? I guess doesn't want to fuck up block. I don't know. He's trying to set up the buff stream play. So it kind of makes sense. Didn't want to proc or block, I guess. I suppose. Punisher. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> we so nine damage. What is he waiting for? Is this really cycle cap in disguise? Oh, 
Playing around shrinking, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I bet that's all he does this turn. Okay. Jeez. Lame. This is probably right. So the bouncing is curved. <laughs> Why well, let him get it back into this game? We're just conjuring. Every damn country. Every damn country. You guys probably want to see Weep, huh? I don't know, the chat's being weird, it's true. Guys, we can leap. We can do it. Don't even worry about it. Gotta leap something. Something. <laughs> How are we gonna be four and two? <laughs> this stream's taking so long already. Voted, I would have voted yes. I think this is great. What did we lose? We lost to a nice budget agro solar flare and then we lost to just a pea pile. How long does it take to earn a hundred thousand fries? Depends how much you watch and how you do in the bets and how many times you click on the fries. It's not like a one size fits all type thing. Look for the space time. Oh, what a hand. What a hand, folks. This is crazy. This is just pressure. This is must answer pressure every ga goddamn turn. That's right. Take it home, boys. Even like, I don't know, like, by Caritaps, do you front it with space time? It's just kind of sad. Mog's my two drop. Survey says, cheese cutter. I'll take teacher. I will take teacher. Uh, too bad we can't utilize it. Damn, that could have been that could have been some template. Hey, thank you, Valuna. Welcome to the primary. Thanks for subscribing. Primary. Heck yeah. Watching backyard bounces. So he's played forget me nuts, Lima, and Mog. It's probably uh. It's it's probably what's it called? Just, just cycle, just counter trend. See, we win this trade here, so I'm just gonna put another threat. I mean... Whew. Should we play around Blockbuster? Heck yeah. Blockbuster would actually not be that bad. Ooh, it's not, it's not the thing, man. No, bro, okay. He friended it. Hey, he was playing around Pogo. It's good though. Pogo would have. <laughs> I was like, I'm better. 
Smoke bomb's looking good. How do we deal with this card then? We bounce it, I guess. Three, one, one. How do we do this? We can bounce this next turn. We can take the damage here and get the value. Also, probably just getting countered anyway. Jeez, Louise. Where did he get this from? It's crazy, guys. So crazy right now. I could actually smoke bomb this one now. Probably. Alright. See if we can get in front of the eight. Come on. Come on. The fitty fitty. The fitty fitty. We missed. Still better than losing that trade, bro. What did we get? We got this pirate. Completely useless. Such heat! Didn't actually answer the Tomb Razor. Okay. Uh, I guess we do this. That turn went so much better than I thought it would. Tomb Razor hits again. Give me something good this time. Come oh, on, man. We need an environment. See that? Okay, we got one. Okay. Ah, uh, we'll teleport, I guess. Is he running Blockbuster though? Yeah, nice environment, bro. Get punished by that, first of all. Yeet. Here's again. Um, it's gonna be you. And. Is the Tomb Razor better? No. This is lethal. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. It's lethal anyway. It's guaranteed once we got that. Even if we didn't even cover this, it was guaranteed. It was 3-1. Oh, we just needed 2 extra damage. Anyway. It must be rolled a, a 1 on the Neutron. That's the, that's the key. Man, we got some pretty low-cost uh, involved. You know, still, still won us the game, though. Still got us the value. It is snowing like it's a blizzard in Toronto right now. I wonder if I'm even going to be able to go out. This is dangerous, guys. I think we can pull off the 8 and 2 still. This deck is performing really well. If it was the deck was struggling to perform, it would be a different story. I think we keep the one. There's a couple things that will will this be nice to use this on. Otherwise, it's it's an okay card down the stretch. Well, under, underrated as a tempo card. Uh, I, I probably should have put this here because the raptor. I was thinking about the cowboy more. Just do it. Fairy blast on space time. The five health for a two drop. Space time and teleportation zombie have way too much health. Definitely should be even at four. It's so much. That's so cool in this deck. Jeez. Jeez Louise. <laughs> So much value. This is like the real tempo deck. Now anything once it hits phase once, it's just like GG. This is crazy, guys. So crazy right now. No guards in this deck. That's kind of cool. 
Man, we actually got laser. Alright, screw it. I'm going for the laser play. Screw this guy. I'll do the Tomb Razor next turn. It's two. You can't dangle laser ninja and expect me to Tomb Razor. I'll Tomb Razor next turn. It'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Looks like that's happening. Good, we're actually just propping the block. I'm gonna use this for What is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I even Tomb Razor yet. We have to go for the laser play, guys. Laser OP. If not, then this hits for face for 10. Okay, nice. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Yeah, oh! Look at the guy with his move. This man, we can freeze, but but what fun would that be? I don't want to freeze. Freeze is annoying. Get wrecked. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was hard. You down to one. This this ninja's still here. Roar! Yay! It's the laser ninja. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of Lipo. I could just play this too. Just another guy. We're not going to need to smoke bomb or freeze or nibble anything this turn. Guys, I don't, listen, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but I'm just going to change the score. <laughs> it's so, oh, he, oh he, he got away with it. Here comes the OTK Captain Combustible. Here we go. He's going to get super... Wait, wait a minute. What if he gets right now... His super brings him to 7. And Embiggen brings it to 9. And Time to Shine would make it do 18. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Is there a way for him technically to win here? I don't think so. He's not throw. How is he throwing? Wait, why was that a bad play? It was only bad because we had. I'm I'm confused. And we won. Oh, used him big in already. Listen, it's all theory anyway. That man was dead. Pretty good hands. Not really looking. What the, what the dog doing is his name. Not really looking for him. Um, For, for our cheese cutters against solar flares. So. You know, I need I need a day off from work. Guess what? It's Friday. Friday, March 11th. Tomorrow, my day off. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, what, he just came on the stream just to show his name, and now he's like, I don't actually feel like playing PvZ Heroes, then. Or perhaps not. I don't think we saved the nibble, just with the same thing. What is the dog doing? The weed. The weed. The weed! Damn, look at Agro Solar Flare. He's so dangerous, boy. 
Bravo Yeti, but still, it's just so much heat here. I'll go with the space time, I suppose. Here, though? Case scenario, we bounce this. Come on, man. <laughs> really wanted this one. Um, and we draw a card which is not useful. Like, we need the whole point was that we can actually get a useful card there. We have nothing going for us right now, man. This is so right. Agro Solar Flare is just kicking our ass. What are we supposed to do about it, especially with all the one drops he had? This is crazy, man. And Nibble just didn't do enough, huh? Maybe we need to run Dog instead of Nibble, I suppose. That would actually solve this problem, Dog. Dog probably would have solved the problem with the... I guess the Nibbles really haven't been doing enough, right? So we Tomb Razor here. And then we Cryo Yeti. This is still doable, but he can get us down to one health here, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Conjure is it's cheaper. I'd love to get some kind of just heal or something. I don't know. A cheap, a cheap zero drop. Yeah, that's really good. Locking? Oh, heck yeah. Bro, okay, that that we just California rolled and I think that just got us back in the game. That's actually pretty nuts. I'm not even saving that. It is desperate, desperate time right now. We could have gone for three. We don't have a follow-up. We have to be able to answer, like, a, a strike-through minion here. We have to answer a strike-through minion every damn turn now, actually. If he doesn't have strike-throughs, he's not going to get this. It's turn five only, though. That's not a good play. You gotta save that for next turn, right? Oh, that was a terrible play. Plus he's sniping and knows that it's cryo anyway. We're uh well Do we get the gravestone? Yes we do. Thank you for a very blessed thing. Have a nice day. Exploding. It's so bad because we block and then he can actually kill us. Probably double backyard bounce. This just dies to all of his superpowers. This is literally one of the worst things we could have got. It's probably just double backyard bounce instead of going greedy on this. <laughs> Alien oozes for years would be nice because they're cheap. Uh, elderberry. Um. So actually, instead of we we're actually able to save this if we do this play. Now three eight. No, this is fine because now we we have this for the elderberry next turn. We actually covered a pumpkin too. Why did he not berry blast my face there? I know, right? And save the apple saucer. I mean, we have answers, but barely. The card. It's cool how we can if we oh, need a nimble. So it's three, like two and. Two or something. Three. I guess it's this one. Three, three, one. Oh, 
Elderberry will go back here. If he has Elderberry and Astrocado, I think we lose. Uh, I can't play both of those, though. We double in that trip. We still usually do not win here. Still. And he has a rule in his hand. So he needs to... Well, his, his last powers are Super and Scorch, so Scorch saves him. He gets the right superpower. We're still not saved. We need to either top deck a Yeti or a Backyard Bounce, or a Nibble, I guess, but also we have a bunch of those. We're actually drawing two cards, which makes it more likely for us to get an answer here. Very luckily we got this. This is tense, though. I mean, maybe, okay, so are the nibbles not... Maybe we'll just run dogs instead of nibbles in this deck. It sort of has the same theory. It's good with the environment. Have the smoke bombs been good enough? Do we need an environment here? I don't know, though. You need to play three strike through minions in order to to win here. Or two and a berry blast. Or two berry blasts, it's the cleanest. He's gonna go elder, eh? No. He didn't even try for the elderberry? He's he's for sure sniping if he doesn't even try there, right? Right? Alright guys, we're in a 7 and 2 situation here. Scenario. What the dog doing? This guy's begging me. I'll, I'll make the switch for the last game, huh? If it wasn't for Nibble, if it, if it weren't, if uh, it, but since we started with Nibble, Um, where is the dog? Where's the dog? Really, the dog would have helped us with that pod father. Would never have been a safe play if we would have had a dog too. Gotta be dog. Oh my dog. Four cheese cutter, four dog. It's the way we control with brain freeze. All right, guys, we're in a seven and two. Where, what? No one subscribed? Let's go. We got an emote just for that. Seven and two, guys. It all comes down to the last game. As per ah. usual. <laughs> Gotta get some early. Okay, it's something. You know, the control power is brain freeze on turn one. Really not. Ooh, we're in good shape. Love getting that laser there. I'm really happy you didn't play like a Blooming Heart on one. That would have really, really hurt. Really difficult to deal with. Um, Galad, I'm, I'm, I take decks through uh, channel points. I don't, I, I don't really have the energy to rate every person's deck here. So save up some channel points. It's ten thousand. It's not that much. You can send it. It's probably full already for today. <sighs> By Doug. Getting a zero drop here would be so nice. Ugh. Okay. It's something to do with the acid rain, though. Could end up winning a trade here. This actually. Oh, there's a smoke bump there. This actually does look like aggro Captain Combustible. I mean, he's running Wildberry. Why? So we gotta, we gotta just protect her. Shameful. Asking for subs, winking face. Come on, eight to two. Thank you, mediocre man. I wasn't asking. I was saying, how come since we have 150 subscribers, I don't even know how many is it. How many? How come no one's spamming the emote? I got some special stuff for that. 
Seems like aggro has just been the scary thing. Though. Okay. <laughs> okay. He did the right lane. What is this guy? Bro, just stop. Can I get a gravestone here so I can... Okay, we blocked that. Oh my gosh, that was lucky. <laughs> the Cali rolls, we roll one, so we definitely get the gravestone. Okay, I got Supernova Guard. So we have Nova Guard Freeze now. This is so on curve with this freeze. This ends up exactly where we want it to be. Piece of trash, perfect, I don't care. Jeez. This one freeze looks good. <laughs> he can't make a good play here. Oh, he is so toast. Captain Contoastable. How many subs do we have these days? 145. Thank you, everybody, for using your Twitch Prime on me. I appreciate it so much. Why are people saying it's 7 and 3? We're kicking his tush. What is going on? I don't care. Um, I'm guessing we don't freeze here. It'll be more value next turn. I think we want the five damage anyway. It just sets up lethal. Okay, he's meteoring us. <laughs> the guy with seven health. Nothing dies to meteoring for him. He's not this thing. Cowboy freeze. We're just going for the damage. The freeze is real. He makes everything strike there. He's getting this down to four health. I guess that's clutch. Huh? Should I have saved for a Pete Moss combo though to be able to backyard bound something? You know what? I, you know we're playing against Captain Combustible here. If he does a Pete Moss combo, we lose. I should have saved for backyard bounce. Whoopsies. I mean, it means not clogging this. Actually, no. Repeat Moss combo straight up wins in this lane with two superpowers. So there's no point in the of the backyard bounce. He only has. He uses Meteor, so he only has one superpower anyway. He didn't use the second one, did he? Strong Berry. Right. This should win. Actually, no, it shouldn't win. You know what I'm saying. We need to roll really lucky for this to win. Uh, now it usually does. I want to be in ninja. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> Mommy, I scared. I very scared. Double bounce, I guess, is the way, right? At least he doesn't have a repeat moss. He does have two superpowers, though. This is scary as Scary AF. <laughs> Whoa, the tense finish, but we did pull it off, guys, despite a couple of us. I think with the dog, we would have been okay in the two games we lost. Again, Agra Solar Flare, we almost lost to a second time. Agra everything has been the problem, so. Yeah, just gotta run that dog. All right, guys, though, that was uh, obviously a really, really fun stream. I love this thing. I love with the cheese. I mean, the cheese cutters just took over a couple games by themselves. Um, I feel like you could really do this with any sneaky hero. Again, it's just laser, space time, raptor, uh, razor, yeti. You can run cowboy in any of those decks. I wonder if there's even another. I mean, we've done it with HG and brain freeze. Is there something that Neptuna 
maybe with because of the friends he brings to the table, the other sneaky hero would be Infinity. You know, Infinity just does Infinity things. He can totally just run run this deck with a con man. <laughs> Anyway, really cool concept, and uh, the deck actually did really, really well. I hope you guys enjoyed the amazing stream. Peace, this is Fry.